PK yeah, where Brave. where was that? Where's PK Brave? This format or PK? I'm so stupid. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh podcast. I'm your host Jake. Tonight I'm joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. And Blake from Blake Goes Face. <laughs> You were so excited to do that, I can see the build up. I'm bringing it back. Wait, none of us posed for our YCS introduction. Oh. Oh. Um. Look, the amount of people this weekend that I saw that were like... Oh, fantastic. What else are they going to do, like, realistically? Hit a dab. (laughs) Oi, Josh. (laughs) Josh doesn't watch these, unfortunately. Break and hold myself. How was that week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Ben. I came last. You did. (laughs) Yeah, it was not a good outing for DDs. Yeah. Look, no. To be fair, I think apart from my last round against you, where you opened the fucking nuts both games, I went to game three every single time. And it's just a case of me being like, "Whoop!" I still don't know what your deck does. It just does stuff. I have no idea what it does. It does lots of stuff. Okay. It ends on some negations. Ends on some other shit that says you know, and that's it. Yeah. Game last. I didn't want to play DDs. I wanted to play Dragon Maid. Just didn't have the time to put my hand traps back in my Dragon Maid deck. I bought sleeves tonight to resleeve my Dragon Maid deck. I think I dropped them on the floor when I was leaving. <laughs> okay. I think they're just on the floor in good games. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, that's it. That's it. Blake. That's it. Book of Moon's a bad card. <laughs> no, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. It was fine. I beat gonna... Josh. Hold that L. Um... Uh, it did fine. I lost the games I definitely should have lost. I opened up completely unplayable, which doesn't happen often, to be fair. Um, but, you know, I thought I would try out a list that we saw um, do well in Chicago. And yet again, Book of Moon does nothing. The deck, the, the list is cool. The the main deck, um, Dark Rulers, uh, were cool. They worked when they worked. Uh, I always won the dice roll tonight, which was sick. Um, but yeah, game two, I was just like, mm, turn off your stuff. Um, spin back the dragoon, um, but uh, definitely a legal play. Yeah, yeah very legal. It was um, on a mystic mind. It's legal. Yeah, of course. <laughs> um, it also plays mine, which, by the way, was really good. Yeah. Um, there was yeah, I uh, I got like Omega hand trapped. A Luke like just destroyed me with hand traps, and I went. I was going first, and I went set two can mystic mind, mystic mind. Myst- it's good. Yeah. I'm just, I'm right? never used to saying the full name of the card. It was so weird. Um, but and then he went. Oh, why did you set two games? Because you did a monster on board to keep it alive. Otherwise, mine goes. Pew! And oh, dry, so we've and dry can't do yeah. anything off of one card. Yeah. Yes, okay. um, but the only time book wasn't sighted out, dead, or in my hand and never used was um, when I had mine up and Laws normal summoned um, a rod, and I wanted to try and flip the rod so that he we would have the same number of monsters on the board so that to. Uh, Mine would pop itself. He just summoned another monster. I went, okay, thanks, book. So anyway, that was that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess my week. Um, so I went X one tonight. Um, the only loss was to Dragon Link. Got to game. Did we get to game three? Yeah, we did get to game three because I thought we were in game three and then I won, but then we didn't. Was um, that Costa? No, that was um, one of the Sydney dudes. Yeah. So I versus two Dragon Link tonight. Nice. Um. Yeah, and just didn't see the cross out when he had the gamma. And I had the gamma in there. It feels bad. I got so. gamma tonight. It felt really bad. Yeah, gamma on a deck that has like a very particular pinch point either at the start or the end of the combo feels very bad. My hand was just really dog shit, so the monsters need to stay on board. I could get Ash and it was fine. Mm. We got gamma and I was like, I can't summon my griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Getting like, gamma on their turn is like... I also Please. opened double draw. That also happened. It's just way. awful. It feels so bad. Oh, wait, no, that didn't happen to me. I lied. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah, um, contrary to that, on um, Sunday I wasn't at Locals because me, Lewis, and Luke went to oh, a true. 3v3. I forgot that happened this week. Me it too. Did. It did indeed happen I this week. I even congratulated Jake on it today and I've just forgotten. You did. Woo! Um, so yeah, um, it was at uh, Icy Cruise. Icy Cruise? Oh. I thought it was yeah, it was, now the last 3v3 we did was at um, Strike 1 this one was at RC the price support was what it was yikes yeah, it's, it's usually not bad <clears throat> like the set's not ideal but anyway we'll get into that 
Um, so yeah, Luke was on Drytron, I was on Ignisters because I didn't really want to build another deck, and Lewis was on Sold Sold Tenue. So um, it pretty much played out exactly like I said it would on the last podcast, in that the deck performed fine other than um, Obscure Hand Traps. So the rounds were a case of uh, four rounds of Swiss and then Top Cut. Mm -hmm. uh, we were X1 at the end of Swiss, so just got into top four, literally fourth place. Um, and then, yet yeah, um, got to finals and ended up winning. Um, funnily enough, the in terms of the play, the team we versed first was the same team we versed in the final. Um, so the, the format is you all play best of threes? Yes. Or you all play one? We all play best of threes, and, and then, then it's effectively best of three of the teams. Of the teams, yeah. And then you guys can just chat and shit in between. And like yeah, so the ruling was basically, as long as you stay in your seat, you can advise your team of what to do once you get up. Because you have the potential to go around and see what other people on the oh, other right. side so of the table are doing. So if you finish your game, could you just stay in your seat and do this one? Yeah, yeah you and can that's, oh, hell yeah. yeah. That's, and that's, that's exactly what we did. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and that's cool. I like that as an idea. I like this concept. That's really cool. Yeah, it's something different, if nothing else. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, and yeah, the deck did fine. Like I said, it was main. The only game where I had severe problems was a deck that was aggressively going second. Oh. So just meaning a whole bunch of like it was zoo control. Right. So just a fuck ton of hand traps and one fucking zoo, attack directly, make a zoo, fucking shit. control the board. Like that deck was aggressively annoying. I uh, didn't like it. Um, and like I obviously have the hand trap lineup somewhat sorted for most decks. Yeah. But a he's playing a fuck ton of them, and b he's playing ones that I don't tech for, like um, fucking ghost more no. Ghost Mortar? Is that it? Yeah, yeah. The wind one? Luke, Moonlight Shell. Sure. Yeah. yeah, so he just had what? that and dropped it on my... Oh, the the one that yeah. the one that responds to the summon. Yeah. yeah, Yeah. so he just dropped that on my Link 3 when I had, like... I'd already crossed out something, and then he had that as well. And I was like, no, nah, well, like, I have no tech for that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I um, that card Just existed. open the call by his wall, Jake. It would be nice. It would be nice. Um, but yeah, uh, basically um, ended up uh, winning that event. So, um, not for the back of me, I lost that game because of fucking Zoo. Um, but yeah, teammates carried me, as I said they would. Um, and I think the prize support was like we each got three packs of OTS and a case of Ancient Guardians, which I think we're just going to sell because it's more... Oh, so you haven't sold it yet? No, we haven't I yet. I thought you sold it at the venue. No, that would have been nice. But I doubt they would have bought it back for a price that we would have been happy with. Ooh, yeah, it would have been like super low. Because the reason that they're probably giving away a case it's of a product is because they it. cannot sell it. Yes. Yeah. Um, but that's fine. Like Speaking of, case of Hidden Arsenal coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a prize for second place. <laughs> hey! Let's go Hidden Arsenal! Um, yeah, so funny interactions over the course of the day. Fire Phoenix, Adionista actually like pulled, like was doing so well on the day. It like won me... No, but you're cutting it for the for Heat Soul. Yeah, that's the thing about that. Um, I may not. Well, but that's always Heat the Soul case, just right? pays life points to draw a card, whereas Fire Phoenix does many things. All of them really funny. Um, and then, yeah, in the second last round, in the third, no, it was in the very first game, um, I was versing Prank Brave. And I okay. won the die roll, and as as is history, I open up Scythe as my um, crossout target in my hand. I'm like, well, Fine. A, I'm going first, so I don't care about Scythe at this point. B, the deck I'm versing isn't playing it. For the love of all that is holy, please tell me you set that card. Correct, I did. Yeah. <laughs> so it sat the in intended my... way of play. Yeah, the way it's supposed to be played. So I set it in my back row at the very start. Had the towers. He couldn't out the towers, but I also couldn't get past it because it's prank kid, and they just set up fucking walls to stop you doing yeah. things. And yeah. that's where Five Phoenix started coming into play because I was like, I'll just start burning you, and you can't gain as much as I can burn you for. Um. And I think it got to like maybe his fourth turn and we were still going like back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he had the DPE. The DPE came back in the standby phase and the dude who was advising him was like, okay, so before main phase, pop the back row. Um, and I was like, yeah, yeah, do that. Do yes. That. So popped it with DPE and then the scythe is revealed and he's like, oh, oh. 
Because <laughs> he did it in the stay by face, so he like couldn't even do like a sneaky pandemonium into like making it. No, play. you're gonna do a sneaky past her, and you <laughs> silly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like he had no reason to fear the back row. He'd made several plays before that, and it didn't do anything. Like I'd not activated it. If it were something threatening, it would have been done already. So like his popping it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, um, and it's a stick. Yeah, it just like I already had a four K fucking body on board so to have another 2200 to poke at the little things before whacking him directly was super funny what's your towers called I want to see it I don't think the I've arrival ever the arrival cybers ad ignista the arrival the, the artwork for it is not that good no it sucks it looks weird like it doesn't look like a thing in the anime it's though trash. In, have you seen it in the anime yes it looks Bro, really good in the anime what the fuck anime. is this thing yeah it's just a thing it's just a bunch of circles yeah, so you can't see it clearly in the artwork, but it is like a, a body, it's like a it dude. is a big dude. Yeah. It's a large gamer. Sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's how my weekend went. Um, yeah, anything going on on Master Duel? I saw you did a stream I on the weekend. Master Duel. I went... You didn't seem to play it that long from what I saw. It was like two and a half hours. I just went on a winning streak and I was like, when I lose, I'll stop. I lost at like 13, so I stopped. Fair Annoyingly, oh, yeah. that was also like the one to go from like gold five to gold four. So I was like, if I skip all of gold <laughs> on like a fourteen win streak, that'd be great. But then I lost that match, and I was like, fuck. Mm. I also lost to like plant, and I was like, fuck me. Th I always hate that. Like you're on a good streak, and then you burst some <laughs> random ass match up, and you're just like, what are you doing yeah. here? I opened Why shit, are you? and I was like, this isn't good. And then I got like one hit with one hand trap. I was like, yep, can't beat that. What were you playing? FTK. Always FTK. It's all he, it's all he plays. That's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fast games. You don't have to like you know. Yeah, my games take like four minutes. Hell yeah, it's fine. It's like however long it takes me to resolve the FTK. I it's mean, my games take half as long. I just summon Winder and they scoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look. Um, yeah. So um, as well as that, on the weekend we had our first YCS in or in person YCS, I should say. No disrespect, remote tools. Real YCS. <laughs> Um, you mean remote Charlotte. cheating? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Speaking of cheating. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that was in Charlotte on the weekend. Uh, two day event. Um, I don't know how many people were there. Those days. So, 1,000. 1,000? Really? Yeah. That seems a bit lower than what I thought it'd be. Mm -hmm. I'm, that's a bit higher than I thought it would be. I thought like oh, people, it, like it would have no, had... Seed in my throat. <laughs> Not the seeds. Um... <laughs> okay. <laughs> It was more people than I thought because I figured they would cap the event. Oh, true. It may it may well have been, like they may have intended to do more. Maybe thousand was their capacity, because it like I'm assuming it was a neat a thousand. No, nah, it was like one thousand and thirteen or something. Okay, what so was the number? <clears throat> I'm asking questions. We're going to get to. Yes. So, um, the top thirty two is as follows. Once I find the list, nope, that's not it. Here we go. Uh, so we have 10 adventurer pranks, um, nine of which had the Destiny engine Boo. in there as well. Uh, five 10 year sold soul. Uh, six Eldritch, three of which were Destiny, Adventurer, Cyburst, the same thing Bragg was playing. Based. Uh, four for Wondery. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> three Destiny Synchro Adventure. Um, so based, I think, okay. is what that is known as. Um, Two Dogmatica, one Destiny Invoked, one Shadol. Sure. Um, one Destiny Adventurer, Sky Striker. Um, which yes. I, I've said this multiple times. I don't understand how that deck functions. Uh, okay. You're summoning two things that block the Sky Striker thing. I don't know if the Sky Striker is just like an engine and they're just like, oh, it's got Sky Striker in it. Let's like that in. Engage. Uh, one Destiny Despia and one Dragon Link. Sure. Um, and who high roll dot deck. <laughs> yeah. And the winner of the event was Prank Brave, unsurprisingly. The deck is fucking annoying. Um, what was the other Brave variant we're all supposed to be worried about? PK yeah, where, Brave. where was that? Where's PK Brave, this format? Or PK... I'm so stupid. I, for some reason, Brave in my head you meant Prank say, Kids. You went to say PK Adventure. Yeah, I did. Um, uh, yes. Um, yeah, I don't... It's supposed to dominate. Which Maybe it's just that everyone that was going to be playing PK Brave decided to play based instead because it's less linear. Yeah. It's just throw shit at the board. Probably. I mean, the pr I wouldn't say Prank is like exuberantly better than PK. 
the difference probably with that... probably stopped less. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, A, being able to chain block, and B, being able to negate any problems and means auto that... auto-losing to Psyche. Mm. That's a means here. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Just shift to them. Well, chain lands here. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> um, oddly, oddly, hasn't happened to me yet. What? Anyone answering you? No, answering the shifter. Good. As it should. Yeah, as it should. Um, but yeah. Um, so interestingly, the two Flunderies players. That topped the event. That gave out their deck list. Yeah. Both of them contain this curious card. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Um, ben... Book of Suck. <laughs> the, yeah. the, I will say, the list's pretty interesting, actually. After playing it tonight, the list is really interesting. It's the Book of Super Duper Pippi Whippy. That's the one. <laughs> That's Book it. of Soul and Luna. So, that was the list you were playing tonight. And, yes. And, like, you mentioned that it's interesting. So It's kind of cool, actually. So, uh, I don't know. Like, realistically, the main variants are Maining Dark Ruler, Maining Book of Moon, and the Misting Lines. And Phoenix. Phoenix? Is that, what the fuck? This thing. Harpy, sorry. Harpy, Harpy Feather Storm. You thought you it was Phoenix, Phoenix Wind Blast. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's where I, my brain went. Um... Because I've always been a huge... Uh, uh, this will be just deck theory, but I've always been a huge fan of don't build your deck to do two... To go first and second 80% each, or 70% each. Build it to do one thing really well. Yes. That's always how I've built decks. That's always how I... I and that's why... That was a huge reason why I didn't like Book of Moon, was because everything in the deck does exactly what Book does, but better, strictly. So don't piss around doing something that the deck isn't like the card's not meant to do but with maining harpies which is a strict going first card not if you play a harpy lady true mm, i expect to die a harpy lady d ruler d rule uh d ruler no more um which is a strict going second card and then being like i hope i open one of these and not the other when i lose the dice roll or win the dice roll is really interesting and it's shocking that both lists play Dark Ruler but I think over the matchups that have come out since like seeing a lot more Prank Brave um, a lot more based and crap like this I can definitely see why they're doing it and Prosperity giving enough consistency with like digging to go get the cards you need, digging to go get the Dark Ruler or go get the the, um, the Harpies and then going so, like, and revealing it's not a problem you just go get the Harpies and then they go yeah, I'm definitely going to do something about that when you stand by, do it, and I can cry for the next turn and a half. Like, they can't they do anything. They just mean the Red Reboot. Fair cop. Yeah, fair cop. But uh, I think that variant of the deck I could see... Oh, sorry, and Mystic Mind. Mind being in there is really strange too, because, again, you can't turn it off really easily. But, as you said, you function under two cards. So there was a time where I, again, it was like, I didn't out it in a legal way. <laughs> However, I could have. Um, having three monsters on the board and then going, mine, I'm now going to just norm like play with two cards and then just get rid of all your stuff is really good. I'm going to build it properly with the Harpies as well and see how it functions and with the two Book of Moon just to see if they're useful. Again, so far, it just hasn't done anything. It's, as I said, like when I had Book, I just norm like used the trap so I could get an Avion on board and I had the spell up so I tributed that thing instead of flipping it face down. And when you flip a rod face down, it still does its search. When you flip an Alistair face down, it still does its search. Like, I don't... As per, it's not great, but I'll give it a go. Also, one street. Uh, where was it? One street, which is actually kind of weird because two street has just been like... Again, you've got PK, you've got like Brave kind of you got based that Stree is just really good see I sort out my second tree when I'm going second when you're going second that, that's oh yeah yeah that's fair I prefer it going first because then you can like use the trap normal it get rid of a thing that they need yeah do the thing um but it's it was really I, it's interesting that they're only playing one they're yeah. like no fuck it it's also one less name to see which I have discovered is apparently a problem even yeah. though you run 18 starters between map, advent, all the little birds, duality, fucking the. Oh, god damn. 
hate that I brick. I hate that I brick. I hate this game. Um, yeah, so I watched a little bit of it, um, because it was just before bedtime here. The, the, firstly... What fucking time is your bedtime? 6.30, because he is old. No, I actually go to bed quite late. Yeah, because it didn't start till like 11. Oh. That's okay. past my bedtime. Like, I was, I was watching it in <laughs> bed, to be fair. Like, it's not like I had a whole, like, thing set up in the living room. Like, I was, li- like, literally pillowed there. Oh, we should have done a watch party. That would have been fun. That would have been fun. I was asleep. I didn't say I'd invite you. <laughs> no, look, I would wake up in the morning and then it'd still be on. We'll do it here. Um, but yeah, the, firstly, the fact that they actually streamed it was surprising. Because, um, yeah, A, was. America <laughs> has not had a good history of actually streaming their events. Sure, like, and same, same with Pokemon randomly. Just... It, I don't know reason. what it is about America. They just don't yeah. like to stream generally. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, well, being their first YCS, I wasn't expecting them to stream that just in case they had issues with it. I, I wasn't thought, sure. But they but, should, right? Because that that's where your viewers will be. Something I found so fucking dumb was that they were like, no, you cut your own deck. Yeah. Your opponent tells you how to cut it, you cut it. Yeah. Well, let's roll the same dice. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, this is so that's fucking not dumb. exactly COVID safe. <laughs> Um, it's also not COVID safe to sit a metre apart from someone for an hour. <laughs> yeah, true. Oh, yeah, the other thing is too. No on, mask mandate. On the mandate. stream... There was masks. It was mandatory masks. Oh, Everyone wow. Was masks. So in, I'm, in we're the US? Get, we're going to get into that. Okay, uh, all right, all right. So, all right. continue, oh, Jake. So, uh, well, there yeah. was a question I had about the event. I don't know if you've got it. What were the price cards? I don't know. one from before. Yeah, they've not updated price cards yet. Yeah, it's still the Link Dragon from three years ago. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, the the one thing I did find um, quite good about it is the quality of it. it. Seems to have picked up a lot from the last YCS that we actually had in person. Um, like the the actual picture quality was really oh, yeah, good. Right. They didn't have any sort of clunky issues with like camera angles and stuff like that. It was all very streamlined. The one thing I haven't liked for a while, and they haven't um, like it's not it's been something they haven't done for a while, is actually updating the cards in hand. Because they used to have like a they, judge behind. Uh, yeah, I'm assuming that's iPad. that's for space and having. Um, you say this. And... Did you ever see one of the camera angles of and them the like going? Sit around, yeah. yeah, you've got a yeah. judge sitting next to the dude here, a judge sitting next to the dude here, and then the actual judge here. Like, normally it's the dude there and there's job to do the, the hands. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that's yeah, nice set up. Oh, the thing. Yeah, cool. It's good. The only issue I found is that in some lighting, some cards were very glary, yeah. so it's hard to see what they were. And because some dudes were playing white sleeves, the amount um, of times that they like played a card and the amount of glare made it look like they just set up. Ben, a Ben, 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 this is a ten-hour stream. You can put. I can see. I can send you the timestamp if you want to put it in the video. Um, this is a ten-hour live stream. I have just picked a random spot. I I have picked a random spot. This man extraps and just hands his opponent his deck. Yep. I suppose he's just handed his opponent his deck. And he's gone, yep, no problem. I suppose he's... part of that issue is because people are getting very complacent in everyday life about that kind of thing, that you probably forget about it when you get to an event. Although, like, the event has to be very structured in the way it does things. Yeah. Particularly because it is live-streamed across I, yeah. the entire world for people to view. That you do have that, like, blank moment of like, oh yeah, this is what I do with locals. Oh, I'm not meant to do I that. I won't lie, but we went to Brisbane for Pokemon, which was our first in-person event. Yeah, it was literally the first TCG event in this country. Um, they said, yeah, just tell your opponent, blah, blah, blah. The amount of times people were like, uh, search this, here you go. And then just, like, doing a thing, and you, the opponent would just go, yeah, no problem. And then you'd go, oh, shit, oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, well, it's just even, by habit, it happens. Even if you count like pre pre thingo, it's just it's a years of habit built up. Yeah. You do a search, it you is, shuffle, you, can, you give it to the opponent. Feels though it's cheating if you don't present that. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah, it is what it is. People are going to do it. So hopefully, on, there's no issues. On the topic of COVID safe stuff at the event, as per Raf Nevin. Um, what do you what? Raph and Evan. Oh, okay. Raph, Raphael. Raphael. As Raphael. Per his account. Yeah. Uh, you could not consume food or drink inside the venue. Your mask must have stayed on at all times. Oh. Okay. Uh, you could not leave the venue. Can I ask? My my geography on that place is so bad. Yep. What state? Carolina, North Carolina. Okay. So like not 
massive Democrat or massive no. Republican. I think it's a little Republican there, but yeah. Uh, I remember it being red, but no yeah. removing your mask in the venue. No consuming water, no nothing while you are there. Uh, apparently, when he got to top eight, he was not in a good state because he had no, you wouldn't be not eaten or drunk all day. <laughs> no lunch break. I, I completely understand, like maybe not eating or like to an extent, like not having drinks at the table. Yeah, because that's always been like more a protection thing for product. Yeah, you don't want someone's greasy burger shit all over your car. Your opponent's stuff is here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But to actually go through the thing of like, no, we're actually just putting you on a like pre-surgery fast for the next twelve hours. <laughs> twelve yeah. hours. That's a bit overkill. I feel. Apparently, it was quite brutal. And then, like you're saying, no lunch break because I imagine there was a, like being a thousand people. No you're break. doing ten, eight, nine rounds, ten rounds. Yep. Day one. Um. To say like, especially in current format. Oh, just hope that you finish your round fast enough that you can leave the entire venue and hope that there's another place Apparently you can, like, you weren't allowed to you leave, weren't allowed to leave oh, the venue. Yeah. That's not legal. No. That's not actually legal. Actually, that's very not legal. Correct. It's America. It's private yeah. property. You can do whatever the fuck you want. But I don't, can you infringe on other people's human rights on private property? I don't know that you can. They're more than welcome to just leave and not come back. Sure, but I... It's... Either way, it's not good. Whether it's within American <laughs> rights to do that or not. Like I don't know the, that it is. The, the dudes aren't working at Amazon. Surely they can have a drink. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's an in place of employment. And it's like that. Could, could judges? I'm sure they probably would go into a back room or yeah. something. I mean, hold if, on, hold if on, the hold judges... Hold on, hold on. What about the bathroom? Using a tap, you should do the sneaky lights. A hundred percent, you would, bro. You you can't deny people water for twelve hours. Just you can't do that. You have a legal. designated toilet stall, and there's a guy in there with cups, with, and you with, knock on the door, and, and he like, takes out the toilet bowl and hands it to you. <laughs> so you got the goods, yeah, man. I got the goods. Fucking cup of water. As if that wouldn't be your side hustle, just have like, nah. Yeah. I don't. Anyway, I don't believe sounds, you. Yeah, it sounds. I don't odd. actually believe you that that was that happened. That was the case. That's it's it, super not I legal. Believe from Raf's Twitter, it was like, I'm in top eight. I am shaking from dehydration. We're not allowed to remove our masks, eat or drink anything. Well, hopefully by the time that we get a YCS, which will be 2027 at this point. They will have ironed out these kinks. January 2023, Jake. That's not... You killed people! <laughs> if people have... If people have conditions, because there's a thousand people there, you're more than likely getting somebody with... They're Yu-Gi-Oh players. Someone has diabetes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, absolutely. <laughs> or some, like, malnourishment. Well, yeah. Yeah, ha yeah like the, some disease... The general crowd of Wajio are not malnourished. <laughs> no, Look, but... Some of them don't eat lettuce. Bro, apparently they said everyone's doing Ramadan. <laughs> none of you eat, none of you drink. Yeah. They just didn't call it that because they're the head, shot. <laughs> the, head judge, the head judge was just like, what, what do you mean they're not doing Ramadan? <laughs> yes, they are. Yes, they are. I can't... If anybody... I have to go check this because I believe what you're saying and what you've seen. I just can't believe that there hasn't been like a... They're, they're in the US. How did people not go... Get fucked. I'm going Look, to do this. You're not going to do anything about it. Something you've also got to consider is these people were just wearing masks. So they're not already the type of American that's like, I'm not wearing a mask in my freedom. Sure, but like... That was a good, that was a good description, wasn't it? <laughs> it ended up being not English at the end. Man, we're we, a, we, we, we definitely just like lost <laughs> half of the people, the very few people that watched this. Um, oh, yeah, no, we true. didn't. Sorry yeah. to our Republican viewers. Mm. Um, I can't... That's horrible, then. That's that's awful, because that's such a long event. Like... Hold on, no, wait. But they're told that they can't leave. Why can't they leave? Something probably to do with the restriction of access into the venue. That's so bad. Okay. Sure. Um, if anyone was at that YCS, the that's in our Discord, feel free to confirm or... 
um, debunk this. Um, if you're not aware, we do have a Discord link in the description. Feel free to join and tell go, us. Go, go. Uh, um, I will not be doing a corrections bit next week. No, but, but I mean, that's what you saw. That, that's what he said on Twitter. So, fuck off. Like, you weren't there. Yeah, but... like, for all accounts that we know, that was the case, in which case, that is bullshit. <laughs> We're and to explain it. why that invoked player played abysmally. Yeah, that uh, it was painful was to watch. That, but it, the, the he choices... also opened fucking uh, terribly in both games. The choices of decks that they had on camera really annoyed me because every time I turned it on, it was prank brave, and I was like, "Fuck off." Yeah. Well, there we... was one time I turned it on it was it was a flood mirror, and I was like, "This is also bad." <laughs> yeah, so that was the point at which Lewis yeah. turned it on yesterday. Because I'm um, not yes, yeah, yes, no, They're Sunday. Both. Um, we were in the car on the way to the on to the three v three, and he's like, "Why am I watching this? The Flunder Mirror. It's yeah. gonna take an hour. It's gonna be boring as fuck." Yeah, I'm like, one of them absolutely fucking destroyed the other day. Yeah, it's all to do with when you chain your map. Yeah, so he chained his map at a point that I would not normally chain my map, and it resulted on him fucking his opponent. That's interesting. Yeah, just like. I, I, I mean, uh, yeah, because you got advent to worry about as well. Like, yeah, that's fair. Um, my favorite part about this is, yes, they did a fasting and then no drinking water. Like, all for a mat that's probably worth $100. Australian. Sick. And, Sick. Price and, and an outdated Switch. True. To be fair, my Switch is dying, so I could... Uh, yeah. See? If, like, if, if I it's 2023, have... that matters yours. No, yeah. Switch. We'll talk yeah. about a Switch. The one with the bad battery, though. Oh. Like, this... and they all have bad batteries. Yeah, look. Oh, that's, wow. that's awful. That's like... <sighs> Alright. On to a place where you can eat and drink as much as you like. Master Duel. Uh, its next event has been announced, which is the Synchro Shokan. I don't want to see Jake's laptop. Oh, my laptop's bad. Um... Oh, yeah. Wait, why? It's covered in Cheeto dust. And that's not right. It's not that it. fucking Sing. bad. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> why? Him, him and Alistair have moments alone. The fuck we do. Um, so, we have, <laughs> so we have the uh, forbidden list for this particular format. Um, basically, the ones of note are uh, Nightmare Corruptor Ibli. Because uh, locking you into links when you can't play any would be really <laughs> annoying. But how do you get it out? You normal summon it and then just get it off the board. You don't need to link summon oh, it. You just so need you to just remove it. it. Okay. Or use it as a synchro material. Uh, Jargon the spiritualist. Um, hey. What about why the fuck they ban Jargon for? Because you... they want people to synchro shotgun. Does it say you can't special summon? Yes, that's exactly what Jargon says. Oh, oh well. That um, is cool though. It is. <laughs> Ghost Trick Skeleton for some reason. Yeah, as you do. What um, does that do, Jake? Oh, no it, yeah, it does the flip in the mill. Um, what's it fucking called? Um, Multi Faker, also banned. Um, Stop Trap Deck. Fossil Deck, uh, Fossil Dino, rather. What a, um, Subterra Guru. Going back uh, to Multi Faker, there's probably a bunch of uh, Sky Striker purists. Uh, yeah. Altergeist. Pure, Altergeist purists that are like, but I wanted to summon the Altergeist Synchro. In the synchro tournament. <laughs> in fairness, <laughs> they already I, didn't have hex deal. Um, like fucking let him play it. Yeah. D fuck him. I <laughs> just fuck him. <laughs> just you know what? Fuck if him. they, if I'm sorry, but if they want to go into a synchro only format and play non synchro, and this counts for anyone they who wants to go in there, they can summon the synchro alter guys monster. No one's doing that. They can. No one's doing that. They can. No they one's could, ever done no, no, that. They could have. They still can. It's Jake. only it's only multi faker that's banned. They can still do all the other bullshit. Jake. And also, the Altergeist synchros are six, and the fucking Altergeist tuners are two. You cannot make it with multi faker. Fuck them. Make it with a faker and a a oneer. I don't know a oneer. <laughs> what else called a what? A, a, a mana what? A, a mana what? That's where I was trying <laughs> to get to. Jake. Um, um, so Jake, but basically to deal the this, just before you do that, yes. um, they've been a bunch of like you can't summon shit. Um, Gizmek is gone. Golden Lord is gone again. <laughs> they fucking hate on Golden Lord. Uh, ben Ten Ultimate is Final gone. Final countdown. Final countdown. Um, Extrav. Extrav. Um, Kaiju they, Slumber. They ban shit like that, so you can't just play a consistent deck. You've got to play dog shit for the tournament. <laughs> Every other pot card's legal. What are you talking about? Why they ban Extrav? Because Extrav is fucking cancer card. It only belongs in cancer decks. 
As opposed to prosperity. Yeah, you get one card. You get to choose the It's card. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, well done. If you get the one card you need, I don't care if you draw seven, Yes, bro. but Extract decks aren't doing it to get to one card <laughs> to finish their combo. They're doing it to draw more Floodgates. So, again, fuck it. But the Floodgate <laughs> decks aren't here. Yeah, because they're, they're banned. banned. Yeah, so let them have... Let Synchro but decks But the Floodgates aren't banned. Nah, fuck them. See, even then, they've banned Destiny Board. <laughs> no, they just banned the D. No D. <laughs> no D. Actually, there's a Synchro on the banned Synchro list. Um, Dark Highlander. It probably says... Oh, because neither player can synchro summon. <laughs> oi, oi, surely leave it. Surely leave it. <laughs> Imagine, you just build a fucking turbo into this. Haha. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then they've given you loner decks. They've got a Baron de Fleur turbo deck, which is garbage. Um, a Stardust Synchron deck, which is fine. And a Speed Road deck, which is fine. Um, legal are monarchs in this. <laughs> Uh, which monarchs have they banned? Um, the, like they the, banned all the fiends. Um, so Majesty, so the, the Vanity, ones that don't allow you a special summon. Yep. Um, Christie's banned all. Still just extra deck walk monarch. Yeah. Um, wait, is the field spell banned? Field spell's banned. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So Jay, what you're telling me is, um, we've had the season pass update. Yes. They have introduced. Completely irrelevant cards and given us the same event again, but with white cards instead. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Just want to get that. Clear. Just wait till we get purple cards and they're like, DP gone. No glad beast gone. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> um, but yeah, that will be the next one because um, they died minded yeah. ages ago. Um, how about instead of that, we get new content? Um, but yeah, that's supposedly live at the moment. Um, I've built a deck for it. Um, I don't know why I went and built a deck. I'm effectively playing the Speed Road deck just with Wind Witches as well. I like that Finger Man is banned. Excuse me? Finger Man. Yeah. Oh, Red Lotus. Yeah, yeah. A pointer. Oh, yes. and also, and also um, Dimensional Barrier. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. That's... Oi, oi, oi. No. Um, but Jake, I fair. want you to know you're part of the problem. You... Excuse me? And whilst you keep contributing to this shit, they're not going to change it. So, if just keep D barrier in because it turns off your synchros. Yeah, but not on your turn. It turns off all effects for synchro for that extra. Yeah, yeah, if your opponent mm. can't summon anything from the extra deck, unless they're playing one of the cancer decks which they're banned, they're not going to be able to fucking play. Like, what are they all you need is a bunch synchro? of sticks. Nice, a bunch of big dudes. Look, I want to play blue eyes. I have my Baron. It's fine. So, is Baron, is Baron was, in the game yet? Yeah. yeah, Baron's in the game. When I was playing, because uh, you can play Baron in FTK, mm. uh, there were so many times where I was like, I can make Baron my fifth summon. Eh. <laughs> and it came back to bite me in the ass. Oh. Almost exclusively. Oh. <laughs> Almost but always. I never lost, but there was, like, because I already have enough resources to be like, I'm going to keep going. What do you think they're going to do when they run out of extra deck types? Make up one. Are they just going to go. Effect Vanilla Monster Festival. Vanilla only. Vanilla only festival. Highlander. Fucking. Go, listen, can go back Jake, and do old I formats. I would respect that so much more they than what they're do doing. They won't do old formats. Because hmm? you can't craft bank cards. You can't craft bank cards. But what if they allow them for the event? And you don't have to craft them. That they should just that give you, they should just give you every economy, band card. They want you to use your economy to build decks for oh. those, so they yeah, so they get more money going back into the game. The well, retro formats would work. It would work, Jake. It would work so well. It would work so well. You know what would wo also work well? Goat. People like goat. Let them play it. Twentieth anniversary. There's a um, there's a goat tournament on at um thingy. Yeah, I heard about. I this. don't like going to goat format tournaments because some fuckwits always like. I need to play Xarian. It's like, go <laughs> fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. The card's okay. Like, no. it's good. But, like, it's, fuck it's off not Xarian. in format. It's not in format. No Xarian universe. Yeah, technically not legal. He dead. Speaking of dead, goes from the past. Uh, we had an update. Um, it appears that Konami uh, heard our last podcast um, about Aluba being super expensive and you needing to play it in order to play the best variant of Brave. Um, not Brave. What are the, what's what's yes, that fucking called? Yeah. Branded. That's the one. Um, so, they have announced that Aluba, among some other cards, will be reprinted in the Ghost from the Past as a further sell point. They um, should have reprinted it. Well, they needed to because they fucked up the text between the US and the EU. Ah, that's they, fine. Oh, yes, they did. Yeah. yeah, they fucked up real bad. 
How about instead of searching the 20 cards that we've released, you search one. You search one and it's got the other text on it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you've got the important word on it already. Um, um, beyond that, though, they're also reprinting uh, Halky Fibrax, uh, Dragoobleon, uh, Ryza the Mega Monarch, um, the DDD you need. Nah, I'm done with DDDs now. I'm not going to play it for another six months. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, oh, and other important cards like um, Rare Fish and Sandwich. Let's Those go cards are fish. really expensive. <clears throat> are you going to win that they're reprinted? No, because no, they're worthless. <sighs> you. <laughs> just... I just want to say he went from saying they were really expensive and then immediately said they were worthless. <laughs> so, the, things can be both. People should ha already like have those cards. Opinions. Correct. <laughs> People should already have those cards. They were readily available. So Kagawa yeah. Hercules <laughs> was a tournament pack super <laughs> that they reprinted as a tournament pack super. Reprint it literally anywhere else, and I wouldn't have given two fucks about yeah, that reprint. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm it's with the you. reprinting it as a tournament pack super. Mate, you don't understand. How infuriated I got about them printing Blue Eyes Shining Dragon in a secret. Oh, the fact that they that. did that, and there's a fucking super that you can get for ten dollars, and there's just one secret that a bunch of people wanted because it was from a retro pack, and you they were like, you know what? Fuck is. Um, the other thing is, how, what do the ghosts from the past packs look like in terms of like rarities? All is ultra, like, all ultra except for the ghosts. Okay, so Aluba will be an ultra. Um, is the whole the whole pack just an ultra? Everything ultra. ultra. Sure. Um, Sandwich is so... an ultra is gonna look like shit. Also, all the cards are gonna go like that, but that's fine. Like this. I'm throwing up gangs. <laughs> <laughs> I did this to you, and then I was like, oh, the camera can't see that. <laughs> <laughs> just have a suck of it. Um, <laughs> we have fun here. Yes, yes, we do. And then, yeah, the ghost will be um, hopefully not scratched to shit and hopefully worth money. Hopefully. Wrong. Maybe one day we'll see what the Cyber Dragon looks like. It will be scratched to shit. Yeah. What if there just isn't a picture on the Cyber Dragons? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we thought it was just a bad angle. Apparently that's how it's, it's just It's just a picture. <laughs> yeah, there's no... Um, I mean, look. No, no, no. I <laughs> think... Um... <laughs> <laughs> just so people don't know what art it is and they can argue till the end of time about what art no, is the ghost No, it's the Darker Dragon. No, it's the original art. Mm. Cyber Dragon players would do that too. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. They, sh they all share a single brain cell. Um, <laughs> and it's, are you playing a machine that I can slip up? No, I lose. <laughs> no, damn. Did I open the uh, the cool machine kaiju at? No. Um, I, so I think, I imagine Ghosts from the Past will sell like hotcakes because people just like Oh, people will just chase the ghosts. People love high-end, like, um, please make, like, please, um, but with the Aluba there too, it'll, there's some worth in the Ultras, which is cool. Yeah. Um. So hopefully that means they don't have to charge me a fuck ton for my garbage fairies. Um. Jake, oh, wait, are they in there don't too? Don't stress me. You're, you're <laughs> literally going to pay less than the price of one structure deck for that entire deck. Is that, that's up. in there too? You will. That, they're going that to be like 25 in, cents each. In fairness, I needed the reprints as well that would have been in the structure deck because all of the ones that I have there are the originals and that's back when I was keeping my decks in like elastic bands. They're rough. Jake, <laughs> I want you to know something. After the, the weekend after it's released, that Saturday, I will get a pile of this many just random garbage cards from Ghost of the Past. I will take out all the shit cards you need and I'll just throw them at you. Perfect. And I will get to play my cards. Imagine if you had to buy three structure decks. I'd be okay with that. You would pay money for them. Money? <gasps> I did not have to pay money. Yeah, your players be like. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of structures, we have the announcement of the next structure deck that won't be printed as a structure deck. Uh, Dark World is getting a retrain. Sick. Thanks. This is actually like well overdue. We were supposed to get this a long time ago. Same as agents, but here we are. See, I thought they, like, had originally skipped Agents anyway, and went back to it. Maybe they did. Because they were going in order, and it was supposed to... Like, we were supposed to get Dark Lord retrain like, three years ago. Did, wasn't it a vote? No, 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 no. What, what structure did, did we get over? Oh, Shadows. Yep. Yeah. Shadows, we got... You voted for Winder Turbo. Yeah, true. But Shadows are cool. They just fucked it up. There was no need to give them the support they did. 
They could have made that cool. Sacred Beast structure deck? Yeah. That was a vote deck? <laughs> that went well. Yeah, because I like... Playing, it wasn't that bad. I like playing that, decks that the, the other people don't know they got going on. actually really good. <laughs> In that yeah, structure. Unfortunately, deck bad. Yeah. The, the support just says make Rusty. <laughs> yeah, basically free link, Rusty. Free link three. Do you think Konami will ever get no. bored of printing terrible decks and terrible cards? Okay, so we discussed this the other day. It is necessary. It is n- okay. No, it's not. It is. <laughs> Otherwise you end up like a Bandai card game where you have to buy every set. It's okay to print shit. No, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. Not sets, I'm like, not in sets. In sets, I'm not gonna shit. Have set filler, have a million card set filler, sure. I mean, for structure decks and stuff. Give people playable decks. Decks that are tier two, tier three, even. Not decks that, like, you can't. Do you know how well Shadol and Dino structure decks sold? Yeah. We've already had this discussion before on this podcast. Just. Stop printing garbage. It's not hard. Just find. I just please. I beg. Let new players kind of play the game. I like please. It is nice when like you can just like get a deck from the box and it'd be fine to play, and you'll win some games. It, even, As opposed like, to like when you had to buy fucking Cyber Style, whatever the fucking deck did, and hope it's that in the title, Jake, it was Cyber, and it was stylish. It wasn't stylish. What did you not fucking get from it? I didn't get what it did. The marketing is clear. It's right there. I just told you what it did. <laughs> but like, for new players in particular, just yeah. let them get an idea of whatever the hell that game is and then go, do I want to go into this more or not into this more? That's all I need from you. What I don't need is new players being like, man, to get a deck that doesn't... T set and pass. I need to chase down fifty cards at fucking locals for people I don't know. Seek. Just let Dino players be Dino, and that's all I'm saying. Or don't do that. Or don't let them play Dino. <laughs> Just make a different deck that doesn't function like a dickhead. Okay, so we have a bunch of cards that have been announced from uh, Power of the Elements. However, I don't wish to read them all. Is that so? Which are we different? more excited to hear about? We can hear about one of them. Oh. Yeah. Ooh, actually no, we've got quite a few questions. Is it a next we main? Skip them. Is, it, is that the next main set, or is it just us? I think it's, it's the next main set. Paris is it elements. the next one or the one after? The one after. Yeah, because there's a set in between. Yeah, we haven't even gotten the next one. No, so we won't get any good cards. We won't that hear about it for ages. They yeah. won't. We yeah. won't see it for another five months. Yeah. yeah so okay. I think the next main set has the Therions and shit in it. Yes, this has Therion support in it. So they're announcing support for the decks we don't have yet. Correct. Sick. Like, there's a Reptile Therian now? A Reptile oh. one. Um, I can't remember what the other one is, but it's fucking good. Um, but anyway, we move on to questions. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, we've got a Discord link in the description. Feel free to jump in there, ask us questions. A bunch of cool guys, have a chat, um, and all that kind of stuff. Our first question this week comes from uh, Dredge and Myra. Um, Scrub Blue Eyes player at the start. Hmm, sounds familiar. Um, that's more a comment but okay um you asked for comments yeah i did that's all right but that's okay amen to being a scrub blue West player i think so many people started there so many people you kind of gravitate towards a particular type of monster and i feel like at the very start of the game you either go dragons warriors or spellcasters i feel like those are the three no, that no, i'm no, most no, 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 no. gravitated to we played giant soldier of stone in defense position and we do it for three years i played little machine things Okay. Machines are the other one, actually, just generally. Cyber dragons people come into. Yeah, um, true. Agent gears people come into. Hand but yeah. loop. Machine king. Hand loop. Machine king could get to like 2 6. Ooh. Wow. Massive. Yeah. Was he your that deck beat of a summon skull? Exactly. A summoned skull. It was one tribute. A skull that is summoned. Simon skull. Simon skull? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> He's a better tribute than Magic Ian. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Next question, Jake. Next question. (laughs) I'm having fun. Uh, Mars Lowell said, I've said it before, Enchantress overrated, Alistair outdated, long have we awaited, Pasculus activated, can't wait to special blue tang in defense. Um, So, yeah, um, Varuncess can go fuck themselves. Thanks, I hate Um, (laughs) it. I like the little rhyme scheme there. Yeah, there was quite a lot. It Um, really pained Jacob when he had to say about Alistair. He was like, oh. 
was cute. Oh, like I haven't heard. Oh, Alistair outdated yeah, but multiple you times. You have to say it. Yeah, I've said it multiple times, and people can go fuck themselves. Um, edit one negate isn't that bad. It's the fact that they always draw invocation when you draw ash. It's so easy to play through. Even it even Varincess can. Let me tell you something. All right, let, let, let me give you guys uh, like a fun little thing called perspective data. Just because you notice when it happens to you, and you don't notice when it doesn't, no, no, no. doesn't mean it always happens. There's a problem here. Is it? Everyone notices that it happens to them. No, it's not. Therefore, it's not the case. Is the law. People are just really annoyed when it does. No, everyone has it happened to them. But that's like saying, everyone's going to notice Advent on to dodge Imperm. No, people no, just no. aren't as mad about it when it happens. No, no. That's see, why everyone's mad about but it. That's fine. You see... You played the advent in the Imperm call and so you fucked. Um, <laughs> 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 so, that's how Imperm Shit. works. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, however, yes. Uh, it's the rule. Everyone. It happened to everyone. It's the rule. What happened? You just don't the more it. The more egregious rule that is also that I found that isn't a thing anymore, thankfully, is Macabre. when fucking Tribal Gate always opened fucking Imperial Order. That was... That was pretty shitty. That was just again a case of nope. This card, no, no, this, no, this, this card's at one. Works. This card's at one. You shouldn't have that, which is fair. This isn't how you do works. We all have deck masters. <laughs> they have special abilities. <laughs> oh, what the deck master, bro? Yes. Give me the big deck master. <laughs> I tried. That's a I tried to keep the straight face. <laughs> That's enough. Keep your drink, oh, drink, drink off the No, we're in wise, yes. No water. <laughs> Mana you water. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Next question comes from Celestial Heretic. God. Thanks. Um, been playing old. Master Duel to the point where I can hear the background music play when I close my eyes. That's too much. <laughs> You're part of the problem. <laughs> to be fair, I just tried to think of the Master Duel music and I can only think of the YG Omega music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, the only way I see myself sticking with it is that it becomes a platform to deck test in stuff. King. It's expensive or queen. deck test. IRL stuff. Um, agree that Konami is hugely missing the mark with the game. Thank you. Um, and over on Nolan TCG, and I'm assuming your, um, question segment, um, Ashwin Selvamical? Sure. Sorry for the Um... If functional decks are the criteria, then what about rockets? Um, and Cyberstrike had great reprints too, so maybe it was just under Shadol? No. no. That that deck did not function well enough to say that, oh, this is a deck I'd be happy to play out the box. The Imperms are what made that. When a, one card in the structure deck is worth half the structure deck, not that long after release and continuing to be on, it's not that good a structure. You've got to be honest, I'd bid in the deck. I just kept the Imperms. <laughs> so, the also my issue with rockets from like rockets as a structure deck standpoint is that the entire extra deck come elsewhere yeah so like yeah rockets fundamentally were good but you had to buy a whole fucking new structure deck yeah like, you had to buy a new, whole new extra deck cause like there was no savage there there was no moral sword there was no striker dragon everything had to come from somewhere else yeah yeah. I also rockets suck, so shut up. <laughs> Dragon Link's still going, man. Yeah, I know, I know. Still going. I'm just mad about it. Dragon Link's gonna one day be new invoked and Jake will be like, Yeah, someone will bitch about someone else now. What if okay. What there if they just banned Ali and they went, you know what? We hear you, we see you. You see here you go. There was a point in time where that could have happened, like three months ago. And now we're at the next YCS. Yeah. And there was no invokes to be found. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's top 32. Uh, top 16. Don't, don't tell them. I'm trying to get you the out here. Don't tell them. I so, don't need the out. So, yeah. I need the invo because my <laughs> fucking Alistair got ashed. Can we get a Starlight invo? <laughs> oh, please. You won't buy it. Fuck off. It'll be, it'll be $900 a card and you will not buy it. Well, the thing is, I already have three ulties. So I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Ulti, uh, be ulti juice, by the way. <clears throat> the Starlight Bacaba, on the other hand. Ooh. How many do you need? One or two? Again, I have three. Four. <laughs> well, one to make into it. Do we have another question? What we do, do have one other question from our Discord. Um, 
So it is, what is your favorite control deck and what is your favorite combo deck? There's there's no such thing as a control deck in Yu-Gi-Oh. There's store and then there's combo and then there's, that's it. No. Oh, and helmet, sorry. Well, wouldn't helmet be helmet's like a super control. heavy control? Helmet's not control. I, I, helmet's, helmet's if you want to talk about, if you want to talk about in Yu-Gi-Oh control, you talk about, I guess, Sky Strikers, um, I guess, uh... Uh, multi faker fucking thing. Uh, Altergeist. Altergeist. How did both of you forget about Altergeist? I don't know. What well, I don't. Uh, you would talk about like um, again, uh, stuff that play like Elder Lich. Sure, you could call those. Uh, you could call Elder those Lich control, control decks. As a pure variant, it's definitely control. So I mean, as a pure like as a, I'm sitting on my traps. I only use Goldie to hit over your shit, and then I protect Goldie or bring it back. Like that's control, so, I guess. I would yeah, like. When you said before, like, control doesn't exist in Yu-Gi-Oh, I would count stall as I've activated Mystic Mine. Time to wait. Yeah. That is stall. Yeah. Control is generally going back and forth with traps. Uh, my favourite control deck is frogs. The only issue is, like, Paleo Frog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, think, I... I think it's hard for me to, because you said <clears> this, <throat> and that's what... Did you bring up that Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't have a, a mana system, or like a, uh, a resource system? That's what made me think that there's no control because control, for me, is like very heavy on managing your resources. But I guess when you look at like frogs, yeah. you have resources. It's just the monsters that you are able to go through, yeah, the you, stuff you're you able to, to take. Look at Yu Gi Oh as Yu Gi Oh, yeah, and not as a she other card game. True. Yeah. So minus frogs, card that a deck that you can't play in the modern format because time rules are a thing and people are slow. Um. Yeah. And your favourite combo deck? Oh, uh, we'll 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 have a control Oh, we're going around the table. Uh, Please. Um, combo decks. Well, yeah, in the context of control, the closest I've really gotten to control is invoked variants of varying descriptions. It's not. Yeah. What's your favourite control deck, Jake? It's very not control. So, what's my favourite invoked variant? <laughs> well, the most control is that. Ask this question to you. It's well, not controlled. It's like though, asking like. Josh and him being like, "It's salad. What's your favorite combo deck?" It's salad. Because <laughs> like, because I, I guess in Yu Gi Oh, you're looking at a case of like a deck that doesn't really do much except use a small attacker or a couple of attackers to not OTK your opponent at all, just slowly whittle them down as you stop them from doing things. Like Gusto Phoenix, bang bang. I would, I would well, argue that Invoke sits in that bracket. Sure, it has when the ability just to just chill. Right. Just when you When you go like Koga Trio, you know. When you play an Omega Summon, <laughs> never. That card is garbage. Um, <laughs> and you're not playing Control. See, like I said, Cleese. I don't think Cleese is in Control deck because you can go. Cleese is helmet. Pen Summon Five. Ba 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 ba. Yeah, but you don't play it like that. But that's how you win. Actually, in the current format, you cannot play it like that. You can. <laughs> Back it comes. Genius is insane. Comes. Back it comes. Back it comes. Yeah, Klee, so Klee is the definition of helmet. Yeah. Because Klee is, I've activated my skill drain. I've activated my vanities. Here's my... Uh, I'm going to pendulum summon a 2-8 monster. Yeah. I'm going to hit you with that 2-8 monster. Yeah, and then you go like genius, fucking summon three things. They're dead now. Bye-bye. Scout search. Scout search. Pendulum um, one. I guess like life points Punch. are the resource system-ish. But I think uh, control... Actual control, uh, yo send you. Mm-mm. Big a lot of traps. Uh, normal summon a thing, poke you, come back to hand. Do traps. Normal summon a thing, poke you. Just do that. Okay. Mm. Combo. I think it's Goki. Fuck Goki was cool. That I, deck. I was really enjoyed playing Goki. Aggressively annoying. <laughs> it was like, a cool deck. Either that, like Goki is pure control, a uh, cool combo. I very much enjoyed Spiral, but I wouldn't say Spiral was full combo because it was a very linear combo. Whereas Goki oh, right. was like a go ham combo. Spiral combo, was combo you're deck. going to, from point A to point B. Yeah. You might jump halfway and then go to point B, but yeah. you're still going point A and point B. Yeah. yeah. Whereas Goki was like, let's throw shit out. Let's Just... go, you board. Yay. <laughs> Just see, like, what? how we open. How you many board... stops did they open? You board rip four. Yeah. Get sphere moded. Someone raw from deck. <laughs> Jesus. Have you ever played a con- uh, combo deck? I think the closest I've come, oh, you come to... yeah, I'll do this though. Kind of, <coughs> but I think the more combo-ish variant I ever played was probably P 
Pendulum Orchest? Is oh, it Mr. Sure, sure. Helmet? Hmm? Is that a Mr. Helmet? Can be. Yeah, I guess. You're just trying to set up one thing and hope your opponent can't out it. That's pretty Helmet. Amen. I'm down with that. You just got to... You open red or you open yellow? Yes. Helmet. <laughs> that is combo. No, <laughs> attach, attach your yes. helmet. Your opponent didn't open hand trap? Fasten your cheek strap. <laughs> <laughs> strap in! <laughs> Um, um, but yeah, Pendulum Orcus is probably the closest I've come to playing a combo variant of a deck. Yeah. And even then, Lachlan said it was shit, but Lachlan go fuck himself. Imagine Lachlan reading out these questions. Yeah. Imagine yeah, there being an we're... audio file ready for him to read out that exact question. Oh, well. Yeah. Guess what? What's I your favourite combo deck? <laughs> yeah. Um... Normal summon magician effect, summon rat. Rat, go to defense, summon hunt, make fucking Zen mighty, Zen mains. Wind up. Yeah. He said he came my favorite combo deck. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. No. Um, Does FTK fall into a combo, though? Give me back Zen mighty, you fucking cowards. And your opponent's not getting an opportunity to play because you comboed so hard. I still think it's Goki. I enjoyed Goki. I enjoyed ripping people's heads. And then, or, 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 here's my favourite part, right? You get to choose. Can I hunter loop you? Or do I set up two Shockmaster and say, monsters and spells? <laughs> Stand by main. Battle. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter that you sit on one Shockmaster. You don't give a shit. You've done everything just to get the two Shockmasters and they go, battle, you go, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's too <Sorry>. special pank. <laughs> Once they can't, you call monsters. Well, they can't special summon. No, they can't use the effects of the monsters. Pank is inherent. Sure, but it can't pop itself. Yeah, pack. But after battle phase, he said. He said main phase two summon pank. Then fucking all right, have yeah, fun. Yeah, and then in the standby phase of your next. Yeah, game. that's a fr yeah, that is potentially a problem. Yes, then you just do it again. <laughs> it's uh, you just keep summoning monsters. Link summon, make access code, laugh at him. As an expansion before we end the podcast. Expansion, expansion, it's over. DLC. Yeah. Mid-range deck. DLC. Um, what is... Yeah. My answer's obvious. Your answer's obvious, because you can answer both for this. Yeah, that is a mid-range deck. But I don't know if it's my favourite mid-range. Like, I prefer a different deck. You know, when I'm playing Invoked the way I'm supposed to play Invoked, I prefer to play a different deck. Oh, a B ABC. <laughs> ABC, 100%. Okay. I fucking destroyed people that deck. That was so good. That was just a deck that I played enough that I understood. I knew I understood on a level more than other ABC players, which was great to do the mirror because I was doing stuff that they were like, oh shit, that was always fun with mid-range because you were always like able to outplay people with it. Fucking Rafflees, you can target Rafflees, you Don't tell me you can't, you stupid bitch. I wish to revise my answers. Okay. Okay. Favourite control deck is Pure Mech Knight. Pure Mech Knight, yeah, fair. That is control. I'll give you that. That is ab ab the pure variant, absolutely. Yeah. Like, you set up all the three continuous... Do you remember that? Because, did we have verse? Way. Did we have a verse with Mech and ABC? Is that why you remembered it? I don't think Mech what, and ABC what? ever really I, lived in the I same format. I remember versing your pure Mech Knights, but I can't remember what I was playing. I remember doing testing at my place heaps, but I cannot remember what I was playing. Other do I. Yeah. Trickstar. Trickstar. Oh, God. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, that was a format, wasn't it? Yeah, I yeah. played that. Um, that but yeah, that's my good. favorite control deck. Um, and then yeah, mid range would be invoked. Yeah. Okay. Once right, I mean. Safety can. <laughs> yeah, fair. The purest mid range there is. Yeah. I like mid range decks. I think mid range decks are just some of the best way to play because normally the better player wins, and I that's why I think like there's somewhere in zoo format that was probably the best place you guys ever beat in. Yeah. Balance wise. After Fusion Sub before Draco. Yes. It was just a case of like everywhere at locals I could just see the best people who had sweated the deck the most winning all the time and they were versing other people playing the exact same deck. And I'm like, this is pretty much where we should be. With a couple extra decks. Better but... in playing Joshua Smith's uh paleo lists. <laughs> like, yes, this is specifically designed to beat your deck. Let's go. <laughs> Uh, but that concludes this week's podcast. Um, please uh, like and subscribe. Like I said, go to Discord. Um, ask us questions for next week. Otherwise, we'll catch you all later. Also, comment what your favourite decks were. Yes, do that. Comment below. Favourite, control, mid-range, combo deck.
Gotcha.